Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone How are you doing today? Alhamdulillah, glad to hear that you're doing good This is teacher Amani and today we have a special guest Special guest, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Gigi the Giraffe Hi Gigi, how are you doing today? Alhamdulillah, great, but can we finish our conversation? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, before we started, um, Gigi was asking me what I was eating. Hold on a minute. Let me, let me, let me show you. Yummy, yummy. I'm eating this. It has. I was explaining to her that it has. Wait, let me show you. Cucumbers and tomatoes. Can't really point. Um, so what is it, you guys? What do you think it is? Gigi, what do you think? A salad. A salad. It's a salad. Yes, it is a salad. And. Um, was that your dinner? No, no, no. My dinner was not that. My dinner, I had already uh, some uh, pasta and some meat. And then I completely forgot to have my salad. So I decided to, you know, eat it uh, because I really need my fiber because I don't want to get constipated. Get consta what? Constipated. It's when you poke very hard. I heard that. Oh, sorry. I chose the wrong side. It's when you poke. Oh, you already heard that. Okay, so yeah, yeah, um, I don't want to get constipated, so that's why I eat fiber. Okay, so vegetables have fiber. What does that have to do with constipation? Oh, so for human beings, not for you, for human beings, we cannot break down fiber. It's, it's, we don't have that in our stomachs. So, um, do you guys know about the digestive system? It's where there's a stomach, and that curly-whirly thing is the small intestine. And that bloop, bloop, bloop thing is the large intestine. The food goes first into the stomach, and then the fiber kind of tickles the intestine and makes it push the food more further and further until you guys can pop it out. Ew! Oh, I said that right in your ear. Oh, okay, sorry. But yeah, until you guys poop it out in the toilet. And the problem with that, Gigi, is that if you don't eat enough fiber, the food stays in your intestines for a very long time and the longer it stays, the harder it becomes and the more difficult it is to get it out, which is also called constipation. So that's what I don't want to happen. Anything not disgusting about fiber? Yeah, and they also like the fiber, the, they're like good bacteria in our guts, in our intestine, and their job is to like fight off other bad bacteria and stuff so um, when we eat fiber these bacteria actually need that fiber too they eat it so um, it kind of helps us in, in many ways oh so only fruits and vegetables have fiber no so you can find fiber in fruits and vegetables and you can also find them in grains in whole grains what are grains and whole grains you know so, okay, let me make it so easy for you. Do you know rice? Okay, no, let's not talk about rice. How about wheat? So when they, when they, when they harvest the wheat, when they cut it off, it, it is coated in kind of a skin. And that skin is kind of, um, it's, it's, that is the fiber. Sometimes they peel the skin off and they make, they get the white inside and they break it down, they grind it and make flour, which is what we used to make bread and cake and stuff. So if they don't peel it and they leave the skin on, mm -hmm. That's called whole wheat that has a fiber and then when they ground it the flour becomes a little brown and that's what makes the brown bread and what they call whole wheat bread or whole bread um, and that's that's also fiber you can find fiber in there yeah okay kids from now on eat fibers and only fibers oh no 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 no! we human beings don't only eat fibers we need to eat other things too we need carbohydrates we need fats and proteins but we we really need the fiber Thank you for the information. It was really helpful, but why now? I'm giving you this introduction because we're going to read a book about some things that have fibers in them. Could you please use your indoor voice? Okay. We're going to read some books that have fibers in them. Is that better? Much better. Thank you. Could you please show me the book? Yeah, I can show you the book. I was going to go get it. Can you be patient? The book is called Vegetables in Underwear. <laughs> <laughs> it is silly. All right, guys, get ready, sit well, be comfortable, and get ready for the story. Don't leave. I'm going to start right now. Like, share, and subscribe. Today's story is called Vegetables in Underwear by Jared Chapman. Jared 
wrote the words and drew the picture. So Jared is the author and the illustrator. Now let's begin. And when we begin, we say Bismillah. Oh, subhanAllah, look at all the kinds of vegetables that Allah has created for us. And that's not even half what's there on earth. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, for creating such a variety for us. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. Vegetables in underwear. <laughs> underwear. I wear underwear. You wear underwear. Underwear. We all wear underwear. Drawers, undies, briefs, underpants, underwear. There's big underwear and little underwear. Dirty underwear and clean underwear. Old underwear and new underwear. Serious underwear and funny underwear. There's underwear for Monday all the way through Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Underwear for boys and underwear for girls. Underwear for big kids and underwear for babies. Oh, wait a second. Babies don't wear underpants. Babies wear diapers. Sorry, babies. <laughs> but the best part about underwear is you can wear it anywhere. Just um, remember to put a, your clothes on top. <laughs> the end. Oh, now do you guys remember? Did you like the story? That's awesome. Now, tell me in the comments what we learned about vegetables and what they provide us with and why they are important for us um, and how they stop us from being constipated. I hope to see your comments down below. And until I see you in the next video, I will say to you, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.